Hey, hey guys, JB here with a paper feel screen protector that we are going to attempt to put on the Onyx Note Air. Now, it does fit. We've got the Super Note here. It doesn't need it. The Remarkable doesn't need it. We do have the Lumi here. The, the screen protector actually fits this perfect, but we're going to go all out and try the most difficult thing that we can do to actually cut the film protector or screen protector to fit this device. So we know it's about seven and a half by eight and three quarters. And of course we have the paper here too. So we have all the devices in play, but we're gonna to see if we can make this work. So we're gonna cut this first. And I have my handy dandy um, ruler here. So we're gonna go seven and three quarters. So let's cut this thing first. So the length is eight and three quarters. So we're gonna go eight and three quarters down. So let's go to eight and three quarters. Let's find out where that is. That is right there. And let's, you know what's amazing? I have no pencils here uh, because I've got all my, all my uh, devices in here. So let's, let's see if we can make this work. Eight and three quarters. So we're going eight and three quarters. Let's go all the way across. So there's eight, eight and a half eight and three quarters. So that should be it right there. Okay, let's see. Eight and three quarters. So then if we take this thing and put it right across the line. Okay, let's make sure it's even. Let's do it right there. See, you can do this at home. Do not try this at home. Okay, let's go with this exacto knife. And that is all even. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut right along this line. Do not try this at home. I am not a professional. In fact, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm giving it my best shot. Okay, so we're going right across this line. Okay, there we go. That should do it. Okay. That is off, and that might have been stupid because I probably should have cut the other side because I don't know how I'm going to get the protective film off. We'll, we'll make that happen in a minute. Okay, so there, that is cut. Okay, so now what we got to do, it looks like we need to cut a little more off, and then we need to do the seven and a half on the other side. So we got to cut a little more off of this. So let's trim this a little bit. We're going to put it right on that line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this ruler right on it so we get a good trim here. I don't know if that's, I probably should line it up to that line. There we go. Okay, we're going to do this. Do not do this at home. We are not professionals. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so we're going to take this here. We're going to cut that off. Oh, nope, that's not it. Right up against the steel thing. Ah, it's moving off. There, yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, let's see. Let's try it now. Okay, that's on it. Woo! Okay, we did that side. Now, let's go ahead and do seven and a half, which would be where at seven and a half would be. Right on that five. Let's just make sure seven and a half is right on the five. Seven and a half has to come down this way. Okay, that's right on the five. So that should be seven and a half. Let me see. That should be seven and a half. We're right on it. Okay, so we're pretty good there. So now what we got to do is we got to take this ruler, put it right here. Again, right up against that line. We're going to cut it to that point and then we'll move it up. Okay, there we go. Okay. Take this. Get it right up against the ruler. Okay, let's move it up. Just a little bit. Right there. 
Okay, I think we're cooking. I think we're cooking. Okay, it should take that off. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's see, paper like. Ah, it needs just a hair more off of there. Okay, that's okay though. We can do this. We can rebuild him. We can make this work. There's a hair off of here. Let's take the ruler. That wasn't as perfectly straight as it could be anyways. That there. Right there. All right, let's do this. And we're cutting. Okay, let's move it up. Okay, we should be good. Okay, let's see. That doesn't look that great right there. Okay, but we are pretty close, pretty close. Let me clean this up a little bit down here. It's a little piece I would like to clean up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so first things first. You gotta try to take this off. That piece comes off pretty easy. Can we get the bottom one off? Okay, let's take off the books. Screen protector. Keep our area nice and clean. Man, that thing's on there good. There it goes. Okay, that's off. Now it should be pretty clean because we were just, there's no dust in this area, so we should be ready to go. So let me see if I can get this off of here. Come on. The joys of hobbies and crafts. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that is off. So let's try to put this on there. Have OCD with these things. Okay, here we go. I have this thing. It's looking pretty good. No bubbles so far. There's a couple. Not looking too bad. Couple bubbles there. Let's see if I can get that out. Yep, there you go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, we have it on. Okay, let's go ahead and take off the second cover. Ooh, looking pretty good. Only a couple bubbles. Right here, there's one. Can be worked out. Oh, but I don't like that. I don't like the scrape on the paper light. But that's pretty good. It came out pretty good. Okay, we are ready now for the test, the writing test. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and open a note. It came out pretty good. All right, let's see. What does it feel like? All right, the Lammy. Here we go with the Lammy. Oh, feels all right. A little bit. This feels a little bit jelly, gel-like. Um, it feels a little softer, smushy. Feels good. It feels a little bit. It doesn't feel a ton paper-like. But it does give it a little better feel. I still won't say it's remarkable feel or like the Sony devices, but it but it's better. I do like the paper feel. This is called the, I'll put it in the link, people, the paper feel screen protector. Um, let's try it, just write a little bit on it. Yep, 
Yeah, it feels pretty good. I mean, I'm using my favorite stylus right now that I use with the Note Air. It doesn't have the scratchy feel. I think the paper has the scratchiest feel. I think the Remarkable, it's got, with that, with that new screen protector on it, yeah, it's, this is a, the Remarkable is a little slicker with the Remarkable pencil. And then the Super Note, just let's open up the Super Note. It's going to feel definitely smoother because it still feels good. But I got to tell you what, that does make a difference. It really does make it feel like a little more paperish. It's got more of a sound to it, and it actually works a little better. I'll, I'll put the microphone. Let me unhook the microphone. Listen to this. Hear that? So that sounds. Fix my microphone one second. That sounds a little bit better. It feels a little bit better. Um, does it make me want to use the device more? Yeah, I, I like it. It actually feels like it's erasing when I'm erasing this. Um, it feels like there's a racer on it. So does it improve the device? Yes. If you have an Onyx device, I think investing in like a paper feel, and I'll leave the link below, is worthwhile. I'm going to take this one uh, and put it on my Lumi. Now, the good thing is with the Lumi is that this was made for an iPad. So it actually works real simple. It just sticks right on here. So this one uh, should be a lot easier to put on um, and a little less bubbles. I got a couple bubbles in here, but nothing too bad. I don't want to get on here with the paper feel. There, that worked. That one's gone. Look, I'm no expert at this, and this thing came on here pretty good. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. Man, that looks pretty good. Let me shut it off so you can see. There's only one little bubble here. That's gone. One little bubble here. And that's a new device. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to put this in its case and start using it more. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the one on the Lumi and take this off. Because I tell you what, it does feel a lot better, especially with this Stadler Jumbo. Uh, I like it. I like this combo. So a little bit of a video of me doing something. I wanted to show you something different. You can put this on. I'm not an expert, you can see, but I cut it, made it fit seven and a half to eight and, and three quarters. Put on the, cut it out. You, I bought a Exacto kit. I'll put the one as eight dollars down below, and this, and now I have a better feeling tablet. And even, I'm not a stylus fan of theirs, right? I don't like their stylus, but it isn't too bad. It doesn't work too bad. The Lumi's, a, I mean, the the Lamy is a little mushy. It's a little mushy for it, but with this, the, the Stadler, I think it, it really increases the performance. It feels like I'm erasing, like the eraser actually feels like I'm erasing. This is cool. So definitely, if you have an Onyx Note Air, try this. Put on a paper feel screen protector, and I think you're going to increase uh, your device, or, you know, make the device better and more usable. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the Lumi. You don't have to watch that. You've already seen enough of this. Uh, but I got more videos coming. I appreciate you if, you, if you. if you're finding these type of things helpful, give me a thumbs up. We're going to have a lot more productivity coming soon. But I'm going to keep the energy coming as I always do. So thanks for watching. Uh, paper feel on the Onyx. It works. It makes it uh, uh, what a great, great um, improvement. And then if you match it up with my favorite Stadler uh, Digital Jumbo, you got a winner here. All right, what a cool, this worked out great. All right, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.